Welcome to another update on Tropical Cyclone CA7 Selena from Force 13. Currently on the screen is the life of the uh, system and I'm going with Cat 3 located 19 decimal 7 degrees south, 59 decimal 9 degrees east, winds 100 knots, central pressure is 958 millibars. Cyclone warning class 1 remains in force for Rodriguez. The public in Rodriguez is advised to take preliminary precautions. Showers are likely to be moderate with isolated thunderstorms at times. Wind will blow from the north northeast 35 kilometers an hour in the main with gusts reaching 80 kilometers an hour over exposed areas. There are no warnings in place for Mauritius and his Matteo France La Reunion's current chart. And what's the Joint Typhoon Warning Centre say? We start off with their chart. And they have it located 19 decimal 7 degrees south, 59 decimal 9 degrees east, 100 knots gusting 125. About 149 nautical miles east of Port Louis and Mauritius, tracking south south east at 10 knots over the last six hours. Here's the microwave uh, imagery followed by further satellite imagery of the cyclone's life up to earlier today. Animating the enhanced infrared satellite imagery shows spiral bands wrapping around the low level circulation centre with the deepest convection on the southwestern side. The initial position is based with high confidence using a SSMIS 37 gigahertz microwave image which shows a faint eye feature. The initial intensity of 100 knots is consistent with the PGTW Vorak intensity estimates ranging from T5 to T6, 90 to 115 knots and matches a SIM SETCON estimate of 101 knots. The environment is marginal with moderate 15 to 20 knots vertical wind shear, excellent poleward outflow, marginal 26-27 Celsius sea surface temperature. Now we have a look at various uh, floaters on the system. For the duration of the forecast, the subtropical ridge to the east will steer the cyclone southward to south-southeast. Once the cyclone enters the mid-latitude west of these, around the 36-hour mark, extratropical transition will begin with completion expected prior to 72 hours. This also marks a period where Vertical wind shear increases, sea surface temperatures decrease, accelerating the rate of weakening that has been ongoing for the last 24 to 30 hours. The bulk of the model guidance is clustered around the Joint Typhoon Warning Centre's forecast track, leading to high confidence in the track forecast and wave height is 26 feet. Now we have a look at the wind shear. The red's unfavorable, yellow's favorable, yellow neutral, 850 meter bar vorticity. You can clearly see where the cyclone is located. The Joint Typhoon Warning Center has finalized its positions on Kananga. 
and the 24 hour shear tendency and we know that wind shear is going to destroy the uh, system and once it connects with those westerly winds EPS track guidance each of the colors represent different models the models are on the right hand side of the screen and considering that I'm here on the east coast of Australia I'll be keeping an eye on the uh, system as it possibly tracks towards WA EPS track guidance this is 18 UTC Eight cycle intensity guidance they're all indicating a downward trend now a satellite view and you can clearly see where Salida is and X Kananga now what are the models saying? We start off with the HWRF parent. When viewing non-official sources the information doesn't change and caution needs to be applied. HWRF and the GFS. And just recapping the HWRF parent model. Now we have a look at cyclone phase tracks. Starting off with the FE3 GFS experimental. The UK Met. NCEPGFS and finally in this update the Navy's left gem You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com, our YouTube page youtube.com forward slash force13, on Facebook under the same name force13 and our Twitter handle, it's at force13 if you wish to get in touch. You can also add force13 on Skype and my personal account on Discord fool13 at extension 9094.